Hey, friendo, Steve here. Hell, Larson. And it's time for our WrestleMania predictions. It's the biggest show of the year, Larson. Two nights, two videos, two set of predictions. For our predictions challenge, for the big predictions challenge, though, of course, we do all the matches, all the confidence points. So we're going to break this up into two videos, night one and night two. So, like, some of the confidence points aren't even going to appear on this particular episode. That's an important caveat. The this might be two videos, but this is one collection yeah. of confidence points. So, right. To refresh, confidence points are as follows. Match most confident. You give 13 confidence points because there's 13 matches on the WrestleMania card spread out over two nights, of course. Match least confident in. You give a single confidence point. So right. on and so forth till each match has unique confidence point value. You get your pick right. You get those points. People are going to be like, wait it's a that second. Simple. Why are you guys doing two videos? It's two nights. Look, it's basically look, two shows. This is this is the full transparency. <laughs> More content. <laughs> I like to be transparent because people are going to complain. They're like, you're doing this for the clicks. Guess what? You're right. Yeah. We do it for the clicks. It's our job to get clicks. You got that right. We ain't you doing this right. for fun. No, this is fun. I actually <laughs> loathe Steve. Oh, wow. Oh, I, I think that's a poorly guarded secret, my friend. I um, think so. I think so. I can't. Right, so I love Steve. He's my favorite. Where, <laughs> Where would you like to start? You night one. Let's start night bitch. one, of course. We're going to do this video and start with night two. That'd be foolishness. Uh, a little start, weird. Let's start night one. Let's uh, intercontinental title match. You got Gunther defending against Sami Zayn. Steve, who do you got? Ooh. Larson, I'm going to say this on our Raw review later on today. I have never wanted anybody to lose as much as I want Sami Zayn to lose. One episode of Raw gave me like a, a blood fever. I want this guy to lose so bad. I'm a huge Sami Zayn fan, and I think he's this great. is going to be a Love really him. good match. And I'm scared to death that he's going to win now because of that go home math. But for this match, I'm going to go with my heart. I've only got two confidence points on this, but I've got Gunther retaining against Sami Zayn. But man, oh man, Gunther absolutely humiliated these two fools. And uh, I hope he does the same at WrestleMania because that whole training montage, all that coaching shit, nah, nah, I'm not into it. Give me the ring general for two confidence points. I don't like that pick, but I'm going to go with it. Copy and paste basically everything you said. The only difference is I have four on Gunther. I'm still holding out hope. Wow. That this whole thing where Chad Gable's like, hey, Sammy. I, someone who's never beaten Gunther, can coach you up to beat Gunther, is all a swerve on Chad Gable's part to make sure Sammy doesn't beat Gunther, so he can want be the one that beats Gunther. The only there's really wasn't a whole lot of foreshadowing to that, except that one time when they were training, he comes behind Sammy and puts the the headlock on him or the sleeper on him. I hope that's a bit of foreshadowing. I don't think it is. I got four on Gunther again. This is a heart pick, not so much a head pick. But I, I yeah, after seeing that 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 training montage. I was like, oh, please. Yeah, please, no. Guther, win. Next match. Uh, next I don't match. know. What do, you, what do you want to go to next? Let's do uh, the LWO. We got Rey Mysterio and the newest member, Dragon Lee, taking on Santos Escobar. Sorry, Steve, would you please? Santos Escobar. Thank you. And Dom Mysterio. So I've waffled back and forth on this one a bit. But I'm going to land... Uh, on my pick the same way I did initially, and that was Santos has already gotten a W over Ray. Yeah, Happened true. on SmackDown with Dom's true. help. And granted, yeah. there could be some go-home math that happened on SmackDown on Friday that changes that algorithm. But as of now, I got Ray and Dragon Lee defeating Santos and Dom. I only got three confidence points on it. I don't feel great about it. I could, go, I could easily switch my pick here, but that's what I got right now. So... Right now, and I'm definitely going to switch my confidence points unless there's some crystal clear go-home math. I've got seven confidence points, but it's, it's, it's way too high. And it's only because, like, there, there's actually, I'll be honest with you, there's a, there's a couple matches here that I'm like, yeah, I don't know about that one. Yeah. Oh, why is this so low? Hold on. Oh, that's why. Man, yeah, I don't know. Here, I'm going to do this. I'll, I'm going to switch it now to, to five. Doesn't matter. Five. Um, and I'll probably go lower net. Right now, same as you, I got Ray and Dragon Lee. 
you know, Ray said, oh, it's the newest member of the LWO. Clearly they want, they're trying to get Dragon Lee to be sort of like next in line for top face luchador guy because they know that Ray is on limited time. Um, and, uh, and, but he got zero pop and I feel like Dom especially needs a WrestleMania win over his dad. Because, it could like, be they're saving they're saving that win for a huge win, like in a hair versus retirement. mask match or something, or a retirement match, something like that. That could very well be, um, you know, Dragon Lee being the the big revelation of him being newest member of the LWO. I think sort of landed like a fart, but maybe they're maybe it's one of those things where it's like, hey, we're just going to hammer this home until people start popping for the guy, and a WrestleMania win is a great way to get there. He needs, I think, Dragon Lee probably needs this more than anybody. Yeah. Like, Dom loses all the time, and he still gets all those great reactions. Yeah, not a huge deal. So, right now, I'm at five confidence points on that match. I'll probably end up going lower, but maybe I'll stand packed. Because there's a couple that I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, I know. Same here. Same here. Next up, Bianca Belair, Naomi, and Jade Cargill in a six-woman tag match against Damage Control. Steve, who do you got? Oh, man, I got a lot of confidence points. I have nine confidence points. On team good guys here, there's no way Jade Cargill is going to lose in her first match uh, 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 at WrestleMania. That's not going to happen. It's going to be kind of interesting given that, you know, Triple H and The Rock are long gamers. It's going to be kind of interesting if they have like, if they're going to try to replicate more streaks. Like Bianca's got a streak right now. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't think she, that's right. Bianca's in this match. Bianca's streak is not going to end. Uh, so, but I wonder if that's going to be like sort of a thing. It's like, okay, we have to really pay attention to this WrestleMania stuff because we want to be able to say 10, 15 years from now, Jade's got this streak. Yeah, Bianca's yeah, yeah, got yeah. this streak. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, for those multiple reasons and the tag titles aren't on the line, nine confidence points, it could go higher. Everything above this are, are, are guaranteed matches. This is a guaranteed win for the good guys. Yeah. That's why I got 13 on Bianca, Naomi and Jade getting the win. This is a lock. This is yeah, a lock. They're totally yeah. winning this match. Yeah, they're yeah. not going to have Jade lose in her her in ring essentially in ring debut. I know she was in the Rumble, but uh, Bianca undefeated at WrestleMania so far. Yeah, they're yeah. winning. Thirteen confidence yeah. points. Yeah, lots of confidence points. Lots of confidence points. Next, next bitch. Oos versus Oos. Oos. Jay Uso Yeet versus yeet. Jimmy Uso. No, no Yeet. yeet. <sighs> This is what I can go back and forth on because I'm trying to figure out if night one is going to be essentially the Empire Strikes Back for Cody and friends. They lose it all. They lose all their matches. Yeah. In fact, they lose all of them heading up until the main event, Cody versus Roman, mm -hmm. because I could see a world where Jimmy, thanks to Solo, gets the win. Obviously, the bloodline is going to win the main event at night one. Seth probably losing his title night two. Only for Cody to be the only one to walk out of WrestleMania victorious. That's I've just convinced myself to pick Jimmy. I got five confidence points right now on Jimmy. Yeah, I got four on Jimmy. I think bloodline rules is going to be the, the theme of night one. And I think coming out of night two, everybody's going to be asking themselves, why did I do what I did for Cody Rhodes? Because it backfires on everybody. Seth's got to lose his title. J uh, Jay loses to Jimmy. Everybody associated with Cody comes out on the losing end, except, of course, for Cody Rhodes, and they're going to sit there thinking, did we just sacrifice everything for this guy and he didn't mm -hmm. even have our back? Mm -hmm. That's going to be good. It could be um, good. But, uh, but yeah, I got I got Jimmy with four confidence points. I st You know, th the thing is, like, I've got less confidence points on this than the than the LWO match simply because he's main event Jey Uso. I know. You know, like... He's got to get, I mean, he did win in the main event like two weeks ago or a week yeah. ago or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like a wrestle, a big WrestleMania match. Uh, but he's also had sort of like the stronger solo run, so to speak, uh, than, than the, of the two of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I kind of feel like because of that, Jimmy needs to get this win. I hope they take this for, you know, two or three WrestleManias or at least a WrestleMania SummerSlam and a WrestleMania. Mm hmm. Um. Yeah. I. Yeah. So I. I. Yeah. Jimmy. I really. I want Jimmy to win this for Jimmy. <laughs> no. Yeah, put your one up. Steve. This. Oh man. I'm putting my one up here. Next. Next bitch. Tag team ladder match. You got Judgment Day, DIY, New Day, New Catch Republic, 
Awesome Truth and Waller and Theory in it. Uh, so they did they did confirm last night. Yeah. Both sets of title separately are on the line. You like that? I assume that was how it was going to be anyways. Yeah. Um, sure, split the titles. It's better than just like constituting some titles out of thin air and 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 and, handi- and having a tournament or whatever for it. At least it's based on competition. It's fine. I feel like it'll make for a better match. Too. Yeah, I think so too. There'll be some drama. The only que- so if you were to power rank all the teams pretty much at this juncture in terms of uh winning percentage, I would say uh star power, so on and so forth, the reception they get from the crowd, I would say at least three if not all four of the teams based on raw would rank higher than the two SmackDown teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, sure. I like yeah. New Catch Republic. I don't know what kind of reactions they're getting. doesn't they're seem great. They're not there yet. Yeah, they're not there no yet. No one really cares about Theory and Waller. Okay. In comparison to, like, Awesome Truth, Judgment Day, with uh, New Day, the the one exception is maybe DIY. I know their theme sucks, but people, are, they get decent reactions if they have match. Anyways, point is... I wouldn't be surprised if two Raw teams won this match. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. And that's the point I'm trying to say. Because I was trying to think, are they going to put the, the SmackDown titles on New Catch Republic? They've been a team for like a month. Yeah, I you know. know. That's or not two gonna... months. <laughs> that's, that's not going to happen. I mean, apparently Waller and Theory might not even be in this match. Okay, so or that's... at one point that, wasn't in the match. That's my sticking point. Because I'll be honest with you. Okay, listen. I think in the order of... Golly, how do you put this? I guess power ranking yeah. teams that either get pretty big spotlights or reactions. While we're in theory, you're kind of up there. You got the awesome truth. They're number one. Yeah. Judgment Day is as hard. Like, if you take Judgment Day out of the equation, because I don't know. Like, Judgment, look, everybody loves Judgment Day, but they, they're the institution at this point. Yeah. The story and gonna, might be, and they're not they gonna come out the of this with nothing. Yeah. You know. Uh, so the awesome truth clearly is one yeah. after that, dude, it's Waller and theory. Mm. They're always, come on. They're always mixing it up with like the big they're main mixing event. It up, you know? But I don't know if any, well, like they don't get, like don't, what kind of reactions they get. If they won the titles, people are like, all right, well, that's fine. I think they get that sort of like, oh, these are bad guys who are assholes who do really good work. And, and, and they're <laughs> dude, listen, Waller and theory are about to turn that corner. They're yeah, they're about gonna turn, to turn that, that here's corner. the thing, they're gonna turn that corner by turning on each other. The no, seeds no, have been no, no, planted. No. Oh, the seeds have they're been planted gonna, for that. Dude, they're gonna have way more success before that happens. We'll are see. you kidding me? With we'll ever with the way they book things now, we'll they are see. going to be tight before they turn on each other. And we'll part see. of that's gonna be a tag team win. A, a title win. Oh, okay. Well I got awesome truth and I got DIY winning this. I only got two co- oh sorry, one confidence point on it. I got DIY. awesome truth getting those raw tag tiles. Sure, DIY. We are, we are, we are <laughs> pulling those those SmackDown uh, tag titles because then you have the entirety of Regeneration X as tag champions, and then they can celebrate together. Yeah, yeah. I think the awesome truth is definitely. I, I, right now, I've got them. I've got the awesome truth winning one of them. That seems clear as day. Yeah, I've only got one confidence point on this. I hate that those other guys reported that Theory and Waller aren't even going to be in this match. Because if it wasn't for that, and I think, like, like this is subject to change, it, we're either going to know on Friday or we won't, unless at WrestleMania they do the thing like we talked about, which is a horrible idea. I know, I know. Where they have a Waller effect with Austin and Hogan and Cena, and then they all eat the finishers and they can't make the match. That's terrible. That is terrible. That's another reason that I just can't pick Waller and Theory. That's like that's my main reason. Otherwise, I would totally pick them for. Mm. Are you kidding me? SmackDown tag champions? It's those guys, man. It's those. Oh yeah, it's those guys, dude. It ain't New Catch Republic. That's no. Well, who shirt. do you got other than Awesome Truth then? I'm, I'm just gonna right now. Waller and Theory. Right. Until I see other, until I see otherwise that they're not in the match, it's gonna go Awesome uh, uh, Theory and Waller. All right, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next up for the Women's World Championship, the champion Rhea Ripley taking on Becky Lynch. Who do you got, Steve? Rhea Ripley with 11 confidence points. She the, 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 cru- the crux of this, the whole crux of this is just Becky's upset, I guess, now. that like Originally, it was, I need to prove that I'm the best against Rhea Ripley. 
Now it's simply turned into you acknowledge that I have a child and I'm upset about that. Okay. Mm -mm. Don't work for me, brother. Rhea Ripley goes over 11 confidence points. I got Rhea with 12. Yeah, Rhea ain't losing. Rhea ain't yeah. losing. Yeah, yeah. In fact, there's a possibility she's the only member of Judgment Day walking out of WrestleMania with any gold entirely. You know, that's the only other thing that wouldn't shock me if Judgment Day gets like the SmackDown ones. Or the raw ones, I mm -hmm. guess. And mm -hmm. then Awesome Truth gets the other ones and they move to SmackDown. That's a possibility. But Judgment Day might come through, but that'd be kind of weird. They just get, go in and they come out with half. It's either all or nothing, right? Yeah, you think so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So I feel And like if you pull it down, let me ask this. If you pull it down, are you out of the match? That wasn't specified. Yeah, right. Just pull so they're like, well, I would I think, I would think the finish those. the finish would be something where they have the bun like multiple ladders in the ring and there's multiple teams jockeying for position and then two teams pull them down simultaneously. You think it's all going to be a thing? Yeah, yeah, okay. Because okay. that way, that's the, then you you don't have to worry about that question. Yeah, you know, if Awesome Truth early on pull the Raw Tag Titles down, that, though. are they I still in the that. match? Yeah, I hate because if you like, got I one want... set of titles, why not go for the others? You know, uh, yeah, I want to know. Well, what if, you know, like, oh, I yeah. want to know all the contingencies. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Rhea 12, Rhea 11 for Steve. Rhea is definitely winning. Finally, main event of night one. You got the bloodline. Put him up, Steve. Take it on. Cody Rhodes, Seth freaking Rollins. Uh, I, I, the finish to Raw last night was fun. They finally got to see Roman Reigns getting involved in the brutality that yeah. The Rock's been doling out lately. Oh, yeah. um, they're building everything up to make it seem like it's inevitable almost from a storyline perspective that the odds are too great for Cody to win mm -hmm. night two. Mm -hmm. And yeah. a part of that has to be the bloodline wins this tag match. Therefore, it is bloodline rules going into night two WrestleMania. So virtually every odd is stacked against Cody Rhodes going yes. into that match. And he overcomes all those odds to win I got the bloodline. Eleven confidence points. There you go. I got bloodline with ten confidence points <laughs> because of everything you just said. It's bloodline rules. Of course, we're gonna have the Rock out there night two. Of course, it's gonna be an overbooked disaster. Let's hear some glass break, Larson. Come on. Mm. <laughs> and then you hear Disturbed theme song. Steve <laughs> pops huge because <laughs> Disturbed. I pop mainly because it's disturbed. Yeah, Austin's got uh, the shirt where he's like half man, half truck, or whatever that weird shirt was. That we or the one where he's got rattlesnake arms. <laughs> that, that was the best one, man. What a nightmare situation. That I was. know. It's like Snake oh, Man damn. from uh, Dream I uh, woke up Dreamscape. from a deep sleep. I was in a beautiful nap, just dreaming about stunning fools left and right. I wake up, I got rattlesnake arms. They're attacking me. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, yeah, bloodline rules, of course. All right, there we go. Those are our night one picks. Hey, hey. night two picks, that's a different video. That's a whole different video. So if it's up now, check it out. If not, it'll be up soon. Right, exactly. Yeah, we'll so. put the little link right here, the little end card, as they call it. Yeah, boom, done. Right there. Thank you, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>